Right. Good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. Today we'll be talking about polynomials and um, uh, from the division of polynomial, we'll be showing you how to add, subtract and multiply polynomials. Okay? Uh, this division of polynomial uh, consists of everything. You add there, you subtract there, you you multiply there. Okay? So from the, if they say that if f of x is this and g of x is this, they now say find find the f of x okay divided by g of x okay now we're going to do this as long division we're going to do this as long division okay i'm going to have um i'm going to have 5x squared plus 2x plus 1 okay and i'm having um 10x raised to the power 5 plus 19x raised to the power 4 plus 3x raised to the power 3 plus 26x to the power 2 minus 13x sorry minus 2 minus 13x minus 2 okay so we want to do this and in division of polynomial there is a formula we use which is called dms division first multiplication and subtraction and you will continue this dms until the remainder you will get will not be less than this divisor then you have to stop okay even if they are equal you have to continue until it will be less than that so let us continue now the first thing we do is d division division simply said only the first person will divide the first person that's all you are done with division so let's do that 10 x to the power 5 divided by 5 x to the power 2 let's write it out 10 x to the power 5 divided by 5 x to the power 2 so what do we have uh 10 divided by this i'm having 2 Remove 2 from 5, I'm having x to the power 3. So my answer is what? 2x to the power 3. That is how to divide. Okay? But in multiplication, constant will multiply constant and variable will multiply variable using law of indices. So I've done division. Division said only first person divide by first person. Why multiplication said use my answer and multiply everything in the quotient side. Use my answer and multiply everything here. So let us do that. If I do that, I'm going to have, if I do that, I'm going to have 2x cubed times this. 2 times 5 first. I'm having 10, 10. S cubed times S squared. You apply law of indices. 2 plus another 3 will give you 5. So I'm having S to the power 5. Okay? Um, this times this. Because I'm going to use it to multiply everything here. 2 times 2. I'm having 4. S to the power 3 times S. I'm having what? S is power 4 because 3 plus 1 here is 4. Plus this times 1, I'm having what? 2s is power 3. Now I'm done with multiplication. The next thing is to subtract. So we subtract. That's all. That's only the three steps you need. I will continue these three steps until the answer I'm going to get, the quotient I'm going to get, sorry, the remainder I'm going to get will be less than this quotient. Then I'll stop. So let me subtract. In subtraction, only like terms can subtract. I cannot say um, uh, 26s squared will subtract 2s cubed. No, they are not like terms. Okay? Uh -huh. Polynomial, uh, how do you know a polynomial? A polynomial is simply um, an algebraic expression that has uh, uh, the, the, the power of the variable to be only non negative integers. Okay? It must be positive integer or zero. Okay, so what am I doing now? Only this cannot add with this. This can add with because they are like terms. This minus this, gone. Please, this minus affects everybody down. It doesn't affect all. So minus times this is minus. This minus this, gone. Minus times plus is minus. So 19 minus 5 uh, minus um, 4. I'm having what? 15 s to the power 4. Okay? And in subtraction and addition, we add or subtract only the coefficient. We don't have any business with the variable. The business we have with the variable is checking if they are like terms. Okay? Once they are like terms, only subtract or add the coefficient. The coefficient. So now, these are like terms, so I can add or subtract. Before then, minus times plus is minus. So 3 minus 2 is 1. But we cannot write 1x. Rather, we write what? x to the power 3. We don't write 1x to the power 3. Now, these people do not, they don't have a like terms, so bring them down. 26x to the power 2 minus 13x minus 2 because they don't have like terms so the next thing we are going to do if you look at it this is x to the power 4 
as the highest variable here. But this is x power 2 as the highest variable here, which means this one is higher than this. So we cannot stop here. We only stop when it is less than this. So we continue to do again. And this said only the first man. Divide only the first man. So I'm having 15 x raised power 4 divided by 5 x raised power 2. So 15 divided by 5. Constant divide constant. I'm having 3. Remove 2 from here. I'm having x squared because it's division. So I'm, I'm writing it here plus 3x squared. Okay? I am done with D. I'll go to M. Remember, M said that answer you got times everything in the quotient. So let's do that. 3x squared times this. 3 times this, I'm having 15. 2 plus 2, I'm having x to the power 4. Okay? 3 times this, I'm having 6. 2 plus 1, I'm having 3. x to the power 3. 3 times 1, so I'm having 3x squared. The next thing is subtraction. This minus this gone. I told you minus affects everybody down. Minus times plus is minus. So 1 minus 6 will give you what? Minus 5 s raised to the power 3. Minus affect this. So 26 minus 3 will give you what? 23. So I have what? Plus 23 x squared. Bring down this one because they don't have anybody to subtract with. Now, this is the, the highest power here is 3. Why the highest power here is 2? This one is still bigger. So I will still continue my DMS again. And this says what? Only the first person will divide only the first person, which is minus 5x cubed divided by 5x squared. Minus 5, cancel minus. So I'm having minus remaining. Okay? Remove 2 from here. I'm having just 1. I'm done with division. Multiplication. Use your answer to multiply everything in the left-hand side, in the quotient. Minus x times 5, I have what? Minus 5x cubed. Minus x times this, I'm having what? Minus 2x squared. Because 1, one plus 1, 2. Minus x times this, I'm having minus x. Now we subtract. This minus this gone. Remember, minus affects everybody down. Minus minus is plus. So 23 plus 2 will give you what? 25x squared minus minus is plus so minus uh, minus 13 plus minus 13 plus uh, plus 1 will give you what? minus 13 plus 1 will give you minus 12 bring down minus 12x bring down minus 2 watch it now minus minus plus minus 13 plus 1 will give you minus 12 Okay, so what else are we doing? Okay, so I'm having now. If you look at this now, you will check again. This is the divisor. Once you are done with multiply, uh, div, uh, subtraction, what you are getting is the remainder. Sorry, once you are done with subtraction, the remainder is what you are getting. Look at the next remainder here. This next remainder is this still less than this? Let's check. The highest power here is two, and the highest power here is two. They are still equal, so I'll still do again until it is less than that. So let's do again. D. And this said, only the first person will divide only the first person. So I'm having 25x squared divided by 5x uh, x squared. x squared cancel x squared. 25 divided by 5, I'm having plus 5 here. I am done with division. You go to multiplication. Use your answer to multiply everything here. This times this, I'm having what? 25x squared. This times this, I'm having what? Plus 10x, okay? This times this, I'm having what? Uh, plus 5. So let us subtract. This minus this gone. Please, minus affects everybody down. Minus plus is minus. So minus 12 minus 10 will give you what? Minus um, 22x. Minus plus is minus. So minus 2 minus 5 will give you what? Minus 7. Now you check. Once you are done with subtraction, this is your remainder. Is this remainder less than this? Yes. Because the highest power here is 1, while the highest power here is 2. So therefore, you tell them that your quotient, quotient is your answer. So the quotient, quotient is, this is, this is the quotient, your answer. My answer is um, 2x, uh, sorry, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus x plus 5. If they ask you the remainder, the remainder the remainder is what? Minus 22x minus 7. That is your remainder. Now, 
one thing you need to understand um let us call the quotient q of x and call the remainder r of x okay now if you want to get any polynomial f of x i want to get this polynomial f of x once you want to get this polynomial f of x your answer is simply uh your answer is simply uh, your quotient times the divisor plus the remainder please why did i say so watch if i have um if i have five divided by two watch me this thing means what two is the answer remember what one over two is it not uh, to get this five what do you do this is the divisor times quotient your answer plus the remainder is it not one is your remainder so to get any polynomial you must say what the quotient the uh, quotient that is q of x which is the quotient we multiply by that thing you are dividing with that g of x you are dividing plus the remainder that is how to get any polynomial okay that is if the thing has the remainder but if it does not have remainder how do you get polynomial the quotient that is your answer times the divisor that's all that is how to get a polynomial okay so let's talk about um okay let me solve one question one more question to make it clearer then we'll move into the next thing okay Okay, the, this question said, let's divide this one now. I'm having x squared minus x minus 2. And I'm having 3x to the power 4 plus 5x to the power 3 minus 10x to the power 2 minus 20x minus 8. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the first thing we are going to do, remember, is DMS. So this is what? The first person divided by the first person. So, uh, 3x to the power 4 divided by x squared. I'm having 3x squared. I'm done with division. Multiplication said any answer you get, use it to multiply all the, the divisor in the left hand side. So this time this, I'm having what? 3x to the power 4 under it. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 3x to the power 3. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 6x to the power 2. The next thing I'm going to do is subtraction to get the remainder. So this minus this, I'm having what? Uh, zero minus affects everybody down so minus minus is plus five plus this will give you what eight i'm having eight sq minus minus is plus minus ten plus six will give you minus four x squared bring down these people minus 20 x minus eight okay now this is raised power three and this is raised power two so i cannot stop here i need to continue again this divided by this i'm having plus eight x yes this time this, I'm having what? 8x cubed. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 8x squared. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 16x. Let's subtract. This minus this gone. Minus minus is plus. So minus 4 plus 8 will give you 4x squared. Minus minus is plus. Minus 20 plus this will give you what? Minus 4x. Bring down minus 8. Okay? Do I stop here? No, because this is s squared, s squared. So I cannot stop here. I'll continue D again. This divided by this. I'm having what? Plus 4x squared. Okay? Multiplication. Sorry. Plus 4. Plus 4, right? Sorry, because s squared will cancel s squared. I'm having plus 4. So this time this, I'm having what? 4x squared. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 4x. This time this, I'm having what? Minus 8. So let's subtract. Remember, minus affect the people down. This minus this is zero. Minus minus plus minus four plus four zero. Minus minus plus minus eight plus eight zero. So I'm having zero as the remainder. Now, whenever you get that zero is the remainder, it means that that person dividing is a factor of this one. Okay. Since we have that the remainder is zero, since since the remainder. is zero it means that 
that this divisor, which is x squared minus x minus 2, is, is a factor. Factor of uh, the equation is a factor of 3x4 plus 5x minus 10x squared minus 20x minus 8. So that's the meaning. So, but if it is not 0, it means that it is not a factor. So, how do we get f of x? I, am, I just want you to be remembering this thing, please. How do you get f of x? You get f of x. f of x is the question itself. How do we get this person? How do you get this person? We get this by, by saying what? This one times this one. The divisor times the quotient. So, the divisor, let me call it d of x as the divisor, times the quotient plus the remainder. But the remainder now is zero. So I can just say this time this to give me the, the, the equation. Okay, thank you very much for this section. In the next section, we'll talk about remainder theorem and factor theorem. Okay? God bless you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.